But we invented a character in this story called Thomas Xavier Doodle, Tom Doodle. And we invented him to take the bitterness out of politics. And we brought him to town one night. We put him on board the train first at Kilmorna, brought him to town, where the town's two bands fused for the first time in years. They hadn't been getting on, and we masked him from the train. The night before, John Costello, the Premier, the Taoiseach, was in town. He attracted a crowd of a 1,000 people. We attracted a crowd of 3,000 people to the town that night. And that night, Doodle gave out his manifesto, his programme. And I remember a few of the items. His first number one was to plough the rocks of Bonn, which haven't been ploughed since, by the way. Number two was to erect a factory uh, for shaving the hair off gooseberries. Number three was to ensure a vote for Lurigadons and Leprechauns, that they were entitled to a vote too, and so forth and so on. It was nonsense, but it did knock the bitterness out of politics. You've always wanted to get rid of bitterness out of human relationships. Bitterness is an awful weight to carry. Is there a lot of it in Ireland? The civil war bitterness still exists, but not to the extent that it did in my boyhood. It's still there. It's just the crust or the frost of it is still there. It creates nothing. It creates nothing. Like the, the, the one great power that man has, he has the power to forgive. We can, any of us can forgive this instant minute any wrong that has ever been done to us. And I can't understand why a man who is allegedly the most intelligent of the animals, according to man that is, can't go and uh, shake hands with his enemy and 